Hi everybody, it's Linda from Bubble and Sweet. Today I'm going to show you how to make these self-layering coffee panna cottas. They're so easy to make. Everybody's going to think you've spent so much time in the kitchen, but like I said, they're self-layering. Anyway, let's get to the recipe. Okay, 55 grams of sugar, or that's 1 and 7 8 ounces. And then I just add 20 grams of ground coffee. So that's just freshly ground. I didn't grind it myself, I just got it from the local coffee shop. I'm using a really dark coffee here. Okay, now you just need to add 270 grams or nine and a half ounces of milk. I've already pre-measured everything here. And just give it a bit of a mix together and pop it over on the stove. Now all you really need to do is melt the sugar. While I'm waiting for that to melt, I'm going to get my gelatin ready. Okay, now I use this sheet gelatin. It's like little sheets of plastic. And what you need to do with that is you soften it in just some water and then when you're ready to use it you squeeze out any of the excess water and pop it into your mixture. So I need two and a half sheets here. Just fold this one in half. Now you can use more if you like. It'll just mean your panna cotta is a bit hard. If you rip it up into little pieces, it's just easier to fit into the cold water. Okay, so that just needs to soak for a couple of minutes, just while you're melting your sugar. The sugar's all melted and it's ready to go. Now all I need to do is add the gelatin and the cream. So remember we popped the gelatin in the cold water before. And now it's all wibbly wobbly. Just squeeze out any excess water. And pop it into your hot mixture. Make sure you get any of those little bits down the bottom. So you want to use the gelatin, not the water. You can just discard that water now. Just give this a bit of a mix. It should uh, dissolve pretty quickly. And I've pre-measured out my cream. I'm just using pure cream. Okay, in Australia you don't want to use thickened cream because that's got added gelatin in it. It's uh, pretty much pouring cream. Okay, just give it a mix together. Now we need to just strain the mixture. So you pop a little strainer over the top of a jug and some paper towels or some filters and all I've got here is this uh, clean new dishcloth so I'm going to have to use this one just pour the mixture into it so it should all just strain through and all of the coffee grounds should be left behind. Okay, so now you can just pour in the mixture. Just make it pretty even. Oops. That's okay, I'll clean that up later. Okay, or just the same thing in the larger mould. 
Now you'll get about six of the larger mould and maybe about uh, 16 of these smaller square ones. Now you can pop the big ones straight into the fridge and they'll just self layer but with the smaller ones I find you need to leave them out just at room temperature for a few minutes and the layers start settling themselves. I think you can already see in these ones at the front the uh, darker layers started to come down there. Okay, I just left these here for about 10 minutes while I did some cleaning around the kitchen and you can see that there's some nice layers have developed. They're looking good so I'm just going to stick them in the fridge now for a couple of hours to set and then they should be ready to eat.